one. Got my little pill cocktail for the morning. Prenatals, iron pills, acid reflux meds. So today, I'm supposed to start trying to work from home. I've been able to get my laptop um, hooked to my phone's hotspot. However, it's not unlimited, so I don't know how many days this is gonna last. Um, the Wi-Fi here is really expensive. It was like $9 a day for Wi-Fi to get here. So, I don't know if you can just like roll up in a Starbucks drive through and use their Wi-Fi. I don't know if that's how it's working these days. <laughs> it feels so weird trying to get into like work mode, just being here in a different place. I'm sure working from home is kind of like weird anyways, but maybe it'll be a good distraction. my work day. It was kind of weird working from home, but I managed. Boom! <laughs> and my favorite thing to do before I go for a walk is cut out some frozen mangoes. And now they're good to eat. Mmm. Hello. Did my makeup for what? I don't know. I was trying to take a picture of my belly, but my camera won't focus when I walk away, so I'll just do a little video. <laughs> sound I'm in the bathroom. I just feel really nervous. I don't know why. I feel like I'm gonna cry. I've been waiting a very long time and every time me and Philip have a long wait there's always bad news that comes at the end of it. So temporary home. So what happened at the hospital was, I didn't think today was going to be the day, honestly, but as we were getting closer to the hospital and in the hospital, I don't know, I just started to get really nervous for some reason and then I was like, I must be feeling this way for a reason. It's about to happen. And I kind of like started to panic a little bit, but I feel like I need to move this down. Yeah. The ultrasound went um, pretty good. The baby is still stable. Her heart is still okay. Good news there. Um, they did say that the tumor grew even more. Um, it is now, I guess officially, the same size as her. So I guess I'm now officially basically carrying twins, but I don't get two babies. Yeah, so right now we're just playing kind of like a, a weird game trying to keep me from going into labor, but trying to hold her in as long as possible. Um, I can't have her vaginally, so we don't want me to go into labor at all, but we're trying to keep her in here for obvious reasons. <laughs> so as long as she can still take the size of this tumor, it's crazy that her little heart is just pumping basically two of her. But yeah, she is still going strong. The doctor does seem hopeful. She said she's going to be okay. It's going to be a bumpy road with a lot of zigzags, but she's going to be okay. 
that's the words that she said. So that made me feel really good. Um, so they're definitely hopeful for her. And she said even if the tumor, you know, is cancerous, that these tumors are very receptive to chemo. Yes, I just have to be careful. She was giving me the side eye because she could kind of tell that I'm the type of person to try to like withhold information um, and not really like say all my symptoms because she was like, please let me know if you feel like you're just too uncomfortable, like no matter where you sit or no matter what you do that, you know, you're hurting or that the pressure, you know, down here is, is too much or if you feel like your skin on your stomach is like too taut because that means, you know, your amniotic fluid is too much and we probably need to drain it. But they're trying to avoid draining it because I guess, I didn't know this until now, that that can cause labor also. I didn't know that draining it could. So I am uncomfortable. My amniotic fluid when CHOP called me on April the 27th and told us that we had to come up there and get checked um, because my amniotic fluid was high and it was showing signs that maybe there might be something wrong with the baby. I was at 32, which when your amniotic fluid hits 24 is when you have poly, whatever this word is. Well, I am currently at a 35, um, so I just kind of feel like, I don't know, I just imagine that this is probably what somebody who's like nine months pregnant feels like. So, I don't know, I'm just trying to keep my belly lubed up because my skin is feeling super taut and tight. Like, it's kind of getting that shiny, glassy look, so. I might start getting some stretch marks. My breath has gotten better over the last couple days. Yesterday morning, I felt like I needed a freaking oxygen tank. Like it goes into spurts. Sometimes I can just be even sitting, not doing anything, and I feel like I cannot breathe. Um, and I think it's just there being so much pressure up here. But yeah, I guess that's pregnancy, huh? Fun times. We asked the doctor what she thought about Philip possibly going back to work next week at home. If the baby's not here yet, just because he only has a couple weeks paid vacation time that he can use. And obviously we wanted to use that when the baby was here so he could spend time with her. But she said that is a terrible idea. That just the way this can happen, I mean, this can happen any day. Any day we go into the hospital could be the day that I'm admitted. Speaking of which, the reason I have us closed up in this guest bedroom is because I wanted to share with you guys what is in my hospital bag. It's pretty large, but I'm high maintenance, okay? What'd you think? Now, I really, I honestly try to pack like all like just essentials. So I will tell you I've been in and out of this bag because a lot of this stuff is like, you know, stuff I use on a normal basis because I didn't bring that much stuff with us to relocate. So as I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of uh, organize it so I can put it back nicely. So it's not in here very nice just because I've been working out of it. Robes. Whether you're having a vaginal birth, whether you are having a C-section, either way in your recovery, robes are going to be amazing for you. You're going to want to have yourself easy access because the doctors are going to be wanting to check your incision or if you had a vaginal wanting to check, you know, your goods. You probably got some stitches down there. You probably got stuff going on. Your boobies, okay? they're probably starting to leak. You need to start pumping. You need to start feeding your baby. So easy access the whole way through. This is actually the robe that one of my bridesmaids got me on my wedding day. So, it, you know, it has pink on it. I figured I'd take that. Toiletries. Um, so I think they might provide stuff. I don't know. They never told me. My situation's a little differently. Normally you go, like, if you get, have like a normal birth, you go through like a like a hospital tour and they go over like what your delivery might look like and what they provide. I'm going to a specialty hospital so it's just all about the baby. Nothing has been mentioned about me whatsoever. <laughs> Understandably. So this is the bag that I have all my stuff in. Razors. Toothbrush, toothpaste, face wash, medicine, prenatals, you still need to take those. Moisturizers, you know, just normal. Normal take care of yourself stuff. Hospital might provide some stuff, but I'm a, little, I'm a little picky. I got sensitive skin, so I wanted to have my own. I never would have thought ever in my eight years on YouTube that I would be talking about this, but girl, 
if you're having a baby or probably having any kind of surgery, I don't know, um, you're going to need some Miralax. You might not need this big ass bottle that I got. Yeah, from what I hear, after your C-section, you will get super backed up. Like you are not allowed to leave the hospital until you've pooped and it can sometimes take days. And that is not a fun time. I went ahead and got this when I was having problems because I had low hemoglobin. So they gave me iron pills and the iron pills will back you up, okay? So I already had this but this will be very handy for after delivery also. I eat pretty healthy, eat lots of fiber, but, but everybody needs a little help now and then. You know, nursing bras. I was wearing one today um, to the hospital. I have a black one, this beige one, and a like white, light pink color one. I actually got a breast pump through my insurance that will hopefully be here within two to four days. I just got an email. I was kind of unsure about actually like breastfeeding anyways. I figured I'd do more of like a pump and bottle situation because I'll be a working mom and I wanted to go ahead and you know have her used to bottles but now that she'll be in NICU for so long I'll definitely be a pumper because um, I can't be there 24 7 as much as I would love to I'm sure the nurses will be feeding her from time to time so yeah we'll go ahead and get her used to whatever the bottles that the hospital uses and then um, when we go home I'll make sure to buy whatever bottles that they use. So nightgowns, so that's another thing. You just want, you want things to be really loose. After a C-section or maybe even a regular delivery, I don't know, um, you can get really, really swollen, like really swollen. I sized way up in all these and I tried to find things with buttons in the front to make it easy for pumping. So this was a nightgown that I got off of Amazon. All this stuff I purchased after the whole like, quarantine everything was shut down so pretty much every single thing is purchased off of Amazon this is a wrap dress um, it's not a nightgown but it is a very comfortable material and it just wraps and kind of ties so kind of close to a nightgown this is another robe this is a super soft one that one of my friends got me at my gender reveal party super comfy again easy access for all of the bits down here and up here so nipple pads is something you will probably for sure need whether you are going to be breastfeeding or not because your titties is gonna be leaking something there's gonna be some liquidation okay <sighs> yeah there's gonna be some leakage even if you have issues with your milk coming in there's probably gonna be some leakage going on so um yeah in between breastfeeding or whatever you'll still want this in your bra so you're not like messing up all your shirts so i got some nursing pads that i'm sure i'll be using for a while this is a little bag of stuff that a girl from work gifted me one day and it has just some like different face washes and things like that these are tribal sizes which is nice and i'll be kind of back and forth um, with the NICU and hopefully um, sometimes sleeping at the NICU so I'll probably need this for then. A Clinique face wash, it has a Clinique face moisturizer. I threw a couple um, little trial sizes of some Tatcha stuff. Just kind of something nice for me. In between all this madness, a little skincare. So I didn't buy any like special like cute little ones that a lot of people do for the hospital. I just brought my Adidas slides. Something I can slide on and off. And also really important, like I said, you can get super freaking swollen. So these will strap and I can adjust to the size. And then I can take a shower in these and all kinds of stuff. So not the like cutest hospital, you know, thing. But <laughs> another thing I absolutely never thought that I would be discussing on my channel, diapers. Yes, these are adult diapers. <laughs> these were kind of highly suggested on all the like postpartum what's in my bag type videos. Um, and they are these adult diapers. They have these cute little lace details on them and I just heard it's way more comfortable to be wearing these because even though I'm having a c-section I'm still going to have a lot of bleeding down there. Okay there's still going to be a lot of stuff going on down there which I didn't even really know until recently. I thought maybe if you had a c-section you get to bypass that whole situation. No girl. That's been the one good thing about being pregnant. I mean Obviously, there's other good things like you get to have a baby, but um, that's been the one good thing is, you know, not being, not having your period for that long is like, yes, but now, 
My body's about to make up for it, okay girl? So I got like 27 diapers that might last me a day. <laughs> I don't know, but your girl's got them. And then when things lighten up, I just have like regular pads just to put, you know, my little panties. I don't have any underwear because the underwear that I ordered online from Amazon that I thought were gonna work for my postpartum, because I was trying to find ones that were high because you don't want anything that's going to be sitting near your incision. Maybe it's just because I have a belly, but yeah, those panties don't fit, okay? And I sized up. If I go to the store again, I should, probably should find some big girl underwear. Um, I know for sure the hospital will provide like these like mesh netting ones. So I'll be fine. It's just, you know, I want to be cute. I need to get it together. I have a giant thing of hand sanitizer because, you know, coronavirus. I have a small little thing of laundry detergent. This is just like a free and clear, safe for the baby. There is a washer and dryer on one of the floors in the hospital. I'm not sure if it's gonna be available because of COVID right now. I don't know if they have that area shut down, but um, it will be nice to probably wash some clothes while we're there since we don't have very many and Philip as well. I got just a couple pairs of socks. I'm pretty sure they provide you some socks. The ones with the little non-skid things at the bottom, but I just throw a couple pair in just just in case so I got some nipple butter this brand was highly recommended it is the earth mama organics nipple butter like I said I probably won't be actually like mouth to nipple breastfeeding probably a pump but I'm guessing that's probably still pretty rough on the area I'm sensitive okay so this is actually something I've just kept in my bag I don't know if all hospitals give this to you but this is what the hospital gave me in case um, I need to rush to the hospital for anything I will just show the security in front people this and they will take me where I need to go. Any vaginal bleeding, decreased or no fetal movement, regular contractions, leaking of amniotic fluid, fever over 100, or any other like major concerns, you call a number on here and then you show up to the hospital and show them your little thingy and they take you where you need to go. Oh, I do have a bar of soap. Um, so this is just a bar of soap. This is Dial Antibacterial Snacks, okay? Because snacks. I don't care what just happened. I need a snack. So, yeah. Ooh, let me go grab that, um, nightgown because it's, like, one of the cuter ones. And then I'll show you this last thing. I'm a little disappointed with myself that I may have went into labor today without these two things. Um, but this is just another nightgown that I got off of Amazon. The options of what I could buy on Amazon, like, that would actually get to my house in a decent shipping time were pretty, like, slim to none. So this is pretty cute for what I could get. So just a nightgown like this, again, we've got the buttons on the front. You can whip your girls out easily. Your doctors can get to your incision and stuff easily. And if I can fit this in here, I'm definitely going to. These are pants I just bought from Target the other day. I did not bring one pair of comfy pants with me to relocate. All I have are workout pants that no longer fit me. <laughs> And I only have this one pair of maternity leggings, which I've been wearing out. But um, when I wear them to sleep, they get really stretched out. So I bit the bullet and spent the $19 on these pair of pants. And I will tell you that they are absolute heaven and I have no regrets. Okay? These are the best pants I've ever had. They're really thin, but the material is super fuzzy and soft. They give you like just enough like little sag to feel comfortable, like busting a little sag. But they're still cute. The bottom of them... This was important. They're kind of like, you know, little ankle pants, except for this part down here isn't super tight on your ankle, which like I said, if you're swelling and you got them cankles, girl, mm -mm, you don't want to be cutting them cankles off. So yeah, I'm going to wash these and add this to my bag. But yeah, um, like I said, it's not really not that much. I got two robes, two nightgowns, a pair of comfy pants, nursing bras, diapers, pads, shoes, and toiletries and snacks. I think I did good. I'm about to pee myself. I gotta go. I totally did my makeup today because I thought I was gonna meet my baby, even though I'll probably have to wear a mask. Mm. Damn it, coronavirus. Go away. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not very cute.
That's not cute either, Michelle. I'm just not cute. Your titties are, you know. Oh my god, I'm gonna pee my pants. 